Hey everyone, Pupsker here. In preparation of the new war, I thought it'd be a good idea to show off what I will be running with my Necromech and my Railjack. I showed off pretty much what I would be running with my Warframes. I'll be running pretty much Protea, Shedu, and then the Parasesis, right? And this is my general, general at least, Protea build, if anyone cares. I like to use Augur because I actually just use abilities too much, and that's why I like using that, if you were wondering. But the Necromech, the Void Rig Necromech, is the one I will be using, and I will be using this build as follows because, oh dear god, you do so much damage that it just doesn't matter. So as always, if the video ends up helping at all, like, check out any of my other videos, and comment down below. Because we will be running the new war on Wednesday, and it'll be a hype day. But this is my level 40 ranked Void Rig with 6 Forma in it. As you can see, just insanely strong, right? Like, look at that, 4,800 health, not a ton of, where is it, shield compared, but still a lot of shield, right? A lot of armor. I just, the Void Rig's insane, okay? So I have Necromech Refuel, so that engine replenishes a little faster. I have Necromech Intensify for more ability strength. Also, you can realistically run whatever you feel like running because mechs are ridiculously strong and they have a lot of mod slots. But hey, this is what I'm running. Necromech Enemy Sense because enemy radar is nice. Necromech Aviator because I had nothing else to put there that I actually cared about. Necromech Repair, this is actually kind of insane and you really want to get Necromech Repair, right? Restore 10% health per second over 3 seconds when health drops below 20%. This is really good with the Void Rig because you can use Necromech Repair along with your second ability to pretty much always have health and be shielded. Necromech Rage is good overall convert 50% of damage on health to energy. So then if you get hit on the health, you can then throw on your armor, Necromech Repair, uh, Necromech Repair pops, boom, bada bing, you have more health, right? Great. Necromech Continuity for more duration, great. I wish I had efficiency as well, but oh well, it is what it is. Then I could get rid of this stupid Necromech Aviator. But as always, meh, it is what it is, right? I'll just throw on this for now. We have Necromech Redirection. Necromech Efficiency for like engine efficiency should be like a little better, I guess. So, eh, maybe I'll get the shield recharge instead. Yeah, I'm swapping this out in real time, okay? So we have Shield Capacity because not dying is nice. Necromech Flow because Necromech, Void Rig Necromech, all the Necromechs, let's be real here. They work so well with Parodia's Dispensary because it's pretty much a constant energy source. Uh, so I'd recommend actually getting Flow so you could overload yourself on energy. Necromech Steel Fiber because armor's great. Same with Vitality for health. Gotta be, you know, tanky enough. And, yeah, where is it? Necromech Augur, Necromech Rage, right? Energy spent on abilities is converted to shields. That's why Necromech Augur is pretty useful. So your Void Rig, really hard to kill, does a ton of damage, right? For my Mausolon, I will be running just straight up viral radiation damage, right? Electricity, cold damage, toxin status chance there, crit chance, fire rate, damage, multi-shot, and crit damage there. Don't get me wrong, you can swap it around for whatever you want, for whichever mods you personally have, but I don't have all the mods, nor do I care to swap it around anymore, but this does a ton of damage, right? So I'm not going to have any issues. Plus the secondary shot on the Mosslons, amazing, right? Look at that. Look at that charge shot. Ugh, insane. The Mosslon is great, right? But the Arguapex, Arguapex, oh god, is a god tier weapon and this is the fourth ability on the necromech and as you can see the damage from this is nothing to scoff at with it fully upgraded i have 110 percent status chance 100 percent crit chance 5.4 crit multiplier the total damage 156 the radial attack 187,000. so 
This is gonna do all the damage. Hell, you can swap these out if you want to have even more total damage and less status chance, which is definitely a good idea. But I don't want to throw any more Forma into my Arguabex. So yeah, this is what we're going to have for now. It does a ton of damage. Ooh, Sabbat Rounds. This might be really interesting to run too. But my god, you're not going to have any issues with that, okay? So that's the mech. That is that. You get it on Deimos through the Necroloid faction if you didn't know. But... Now we're going to go look at my dojo. So, the Railjack, got to go into your dojo to, you know, get a better look at it, really. It's where everything is. You can, I think, take a lot of looks at the relays, things like that as well, but it's easiest to just go to the dojo for it. So my Railjack is not completely decked out 100%. It's like 90% OP, right? Everything is Mark III, right? I have a Levon Shield Array Mark III purely because it's good enough and I upgraded it, right? That's it. Same with Sigma Engines, Mark III. Good enough, fast enough, upgraded it, great. I have a Levon Reactor Mark III, which if I was smart, I'd throw on a Levon Hull Plating as well to, you know, as you can see there, increase max shield by 25%. But no, instead I have a Vidar Plating Mark III because it's really good anyway, so who cares? So my Railjack is ridiculously OP and it is never going to die. My Armaments is the Zecti Glazio Mark III. I really like this one. Look at that coal damage on it. 100% uh, crit chance. Beautiful, beautiful. I have the Zecti Talon Mark III. I honestly, I might want to get another... Like swapped out one of these for something I like more, but this overall is decent enough, decent enough. I don't hate it or anything at all, still really strong. Tycho Seeker Mark III, really normal there, right? It's what it is, right? Normal stuff there. Let's take a look at the mods though. Oh dear god, look at them. The Railjack modding is such a shit show, I love it. So, I have Ironclad Matrix on for more hull and armor, max shield and shield regen, just so that I can be lazy with my Railjack. With the crew, and with four people, it's very, very good having just any armor, right? It's hard for your Railjack to die. And with four people, they take very good care of it usually, so it is what it is. Plus 50% turret critical damage. That's right, I've decked this boy out to do a ton of damage. I have Omni Revolute Consumption, minus 40.5%, because it's annoying having to go and reload that a lot. Conic Nozzle for more speed, because speed is good. Predator, because turret crit chance is lovely, right? Just more damage. If I have crew on, they like instantly kill everything. I love it. You have Hyper Strike here for more turret damage, so everything just is better, right? Wave Band Disruptor, 51% chance for turret crit hits to ignore enemy shields. And since I have so many crits, it's good. Crimson Fuge, 25% turret damage per enemy destroyed for 8 seconds, maximum of 5 stacks. So this is really good, especially for crew, because they just lock on like actual gods. And then Warhead for OPOP ordinance damage. Yeah! My battle intrinsics. I like having Blackout Pulse with Void Hole. Just throw them all in one spot to do damage. And then Particle Ram too, because this is also really good, and it just makes you go fast and just go pew pew pew, shoots out of forward Particle Ram. I love it. Well, it doesn't really make you go fast, I don't think it has any speed boost to it, but it's a forward tank, right? I like it. You can throw on literally whatever you feel like. It honestly doesn't matter. A lot of things are really good. Shatter Burst is honestly pretty good all in all. Like, look at that damage, right? I like a lot of these. So, Phoenix Blaze, that was really fun. Speed increase damage reduction, right? There's just so many good things you can throw on. Do whatever you want, right? Anything's good if you like using it, okay? Remember that. Then I have Tactical Breach. Quanta to, you know, temporarily stall holes, breaches, and stuff like that. Boost turret damage, right? Good. And then Void Cloak to just hide. Things like Battle Forge are nice. Things like the instant uh, repair. Squad Renew is also really nice. If your crew gets beat up, there it is. Fire repre uh, no, Suppression. That one's really good. So, all in all, always just build for what you like using. It's Railjack. If you have tier 3 things, it's ridiculously strong no matter what, so keep that in mind. Just build for what you like, okay? 
I know a lot of people love their own metas, but I don't care for that. These are my intrinsics levels. I almost have tactical up to level 10. That's all I want to get done before the new war. Had a stream getting a lot of levels done for that, and now I only really have to run one or two more missions, and then I'll be good to go there, and I'll get gunnery next update, but I'm in no rush to get rank 10 gunnery, as it's not a huge advantage for me. Then, for crew, oh dear god, here are my beautiful, beautiful crew. As you can see, once you get your, I think, command to 10, you can get elite crew, and they are just essentially better. I have my sister of Parvos, who literally doubles the height of my crew, so, um, holy fucking shit, I didn't realize she was so tall, oh dear god, oh dear god, this is terrifying. But that's okay, like, don't worry about it. She has her 10 at Tetra, Heat, look at the tankiness on her, right? 10 out of 10. She will defend so well. I have this boyo here, and I have gunnery, because you will shoot, and I have repair, because they will either be a gunner or a repair person. And endurance, because I don't want my people to die. It's pretty similar to this person, she's default engineer, but I will put them as combat and endurance because I just don't want them to die while they're running around doing like engineering shenanigans. It's uh, it's kind of wonky. I also micromanage a lot of my people, so that's why I tend to just have two things maxed out on each. This is the engineer that'll run around and fight and hopefully engineer stuff. And this is the gunner, pilot, and generally also engineer when this person's fighting so who knows and this person might die it's a mess do whatever you want crew are just ridiculously good but since these are elite crew as you can see i have only two weeks left on those contracts where non-elite crews have massively long contracts so elite crewmen get yeeted out real fast keep that in mind because i overbought elite crewmen because this guy's really good, Gunner and Endurance. Hell yeah. And then this person, Endurance, Gunner, and Piloting. 10 out of 10. So that's my Railjack crew. And the customization, it just looks cool. You can do whatever you want right there. And as always, like, Railjack's a great way just to get a bunch of loot. Because look at all of this endo. I was just casually running Railjack and I got like 10,000 endo pretty easily, right? And then you have all of these that you can scrap and get even more endo and now I have 50,000 endo which means that is right, I can start leveling up my intrinsics even more. Oh no. Oh, okay. Well, mods I should say, not intrinsics. So I can just start leveling things up because this one's really good. I wanted to level this one up for quite some time, right? But look at the cost of that. Ha, huh. too fucking poor to afford all of this. Void holes, good. Blackout pulse, I'd actually rather max out blackout pulse right now. It's not even a huge difference. Like, it doesn't matter realistically. It's just to have it done. I can't max out void hole yet either though, because I'm missing a little bit of endo. And then once I have that done, all my mods will be maxed for my railjack and my build will be completely done. So, that is it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys what I'll be running for the new war. No need to completely min-max my railjack because no fun in that. It just dicks on everything no matter what anyways. So, yeah. Getting real close to 100,000 subs. So, if you want to sub and everything, that would be appreciated. I'm trying to hit it before the new year, but honestly with the new war and everything it's possible, but yeah, who knows, right? So thank you all for watching and I will see you next time. Peace.